Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's new original anime, Make My Day. There is eight episodes. They range from about 20 minutes to 24 minutes. It's a 15. There are interesting end credits in this series. Kind of my first top tip. Don't just skip over to the next episode when you're watching this anime. Watch some of the credits because there's messages to some of the creators, the team behind it. They're kind of talking to each other and letting us know what they were involved with. It's really funny and quite unique and I just thought that was brilliant. Let's jump into the review. On a cold planet of ice and snow, mysterious creatures suddenly have appeared from the dark underground and have begun to attack the inhabitants. Can humanity survive the terror lurking beyond the horizon? So from Taiwanese studio that do the 3D CG, it's Studio 5 Incorporated, and they animated, let me just get the names right, uh, Marcus of the Cloud, Forest, Monkey Gang, Anarchy, Baby Planet, and also helped on Netflix's anime series Exception. So that's the first thing you're going to notice when going into this anime series, is the animation style might take you back, might take you a while just to kind of get used to. And I know some people are very finicky or have particular styles that they like and when they see stuff like this, the 3D CG anime but used in a unique style like Exception, then they kind of go, mm, I don't want to watch that. And compared to Exception, it took me a lot less time to get used to this anime, like a few minutes and I was on board. I said, okay, they're going with this animation style. And by the end, I came to really like it and enjoy what they were doing with the animation. It wasn't ever a hindrance. In fact, I think it was a positive this case round. I'm always for the hand drawn stuff, but this new style, we're still hand drawing obviously, but it's created digitally and so sketching digitally and then they rendering it with the kind of 3D CG scapes that they create. This team is really, really talented. And talking about the talented team, we have a voice cast here of people who have worked on amazing anime series and movies. From Star Wars Visions, Phantom Requiem for the Phantom's Heaven's Lost Property, we've got Ghost in the Shell, Tekken the Motion Picture, Ghost in the Shell 19. 95, Tokyo Godfathers, Paprika, Cyberpunk, Edge Runners. That's just to name a few of some of the voice cast in here. So if you were listening in dubbing, it's fine, but I would suggest listening to original and then reading the subtitles if you can't speak Japanese, that is, because you'll get the nuances. Everything that the voice actors bring for the veteran voice actors. That's not to say that dubbing actors haven't done a great job. I think they're fine, but for me, I always enjoy the original. It's also a 15. You should be aware that there is quite a bit of gore when needed, and I thought that was interesting. Now, the story here is what grabs me. The story, I was surprised by how good it was. Have you seen, and I'm now showing my age, have you seen Starship Troopers Roughnecks? Roughnecks, Starship Troopers Chronicles. There was a CG animated series back in the day that I used to watch with my dad and my brother. I loved the film. But this was the thing that we used to watch every morning before going off to work or, or, or college or school, what we were doing at the time. And it just had such a deep, dark story that we were invested in the characters so much. Animation was great, but the story was what drew us in every episode and we wanted more and it left us wanting more. Emmy nominated sci-fi adventure. This is what I can say about this animation series. It left me wanting much more, but there is a there is a nice satisfying end to this. They could do more if they wanted, but the story arc is really about an escape. We have an eclectic group of people, one from the lower side and the rich side is kind of merging together. But what happens is they upset the creatures on this planet and a bunch of people from all walks of life have to to work together to escape the planet. And of course, you got politics in there. You got people with their own desires. You got people trying to look out for themselves. And then you got people that have a really great redemption story. And that's where the story sometimes focuses on. And when they do that, it feels like it's really kind of going, yeah, we wrote this out well. This is very good. We're giving you some backstory to care about your characters. So when stuff happens to them, you're on board for that. And I was totally on board for the characters having these journeys, this escape, but also building the characters enough for us to go, oh yeah, I really appreciate it. And when it comes down to the action is different. We it, Going back to the Starship Troopers sort of thing, the, the blobby things that you saw uh, in Starship Troopers, you would know that these are similar. They are scary, relentless, almost terminal like and then you know they have the big crescendo ending where they they come up with a plan of how they're going to escape no spoilers so I'm not going to tell you but the journey there is as exciting as the escape it's also pretty much unrelenting there's always a time 
I guess there's a time device, like a MacGuffin in the story. They have to get from A to B within each episode because of something that's chased them, either it's a monster uh, or it's one of those politics moments where someone gets involved who's in higher up and, you know, stops them from getting somewhere or they're trying to escape in the shuttles that they're trying to leave the planet with, you know, there's not enough space, all of that. But every episode leads itself into making us sit forward on our seat, wondering whether the, the crew that have gotten together are going to make it. Think about Pitch Black, uh, one of the Riddick ones where he has his team trying to escape the planet from a horde of monsters. It's a tried and tested tested formula but works well if you give enough time to your characters not too much so that distracts from the pacing of the story but enough so that you care about your characters you can build your characters within the episodes without doing too much flashbacks and that's what they do you hear dialogue lines that kind of showcases who they are not everybody is going to be likable in this group. One of them I love to hate and I hoped that they would die very soon. You, act, you kind of have to have one of those characters in your anime series. There needs to be a knocking of heads of ideals, of moralists. So you have the guy that is good, but the guy is only so good as the bad guy that is in the team. And that reflects his goodness and his badness. And that's a clever formula to write within a chase sequence and escape. And so you have tensions building because of the monsters, you have tensions building because of the running and the excitement, but then you have tensions within the group. All of that is incorporated within this anime and it's paced perfectly well. We've got to talk about the score as well. Kensuke Usio composes the, the score for this series and you'll know his works, you might not know his name, but you'll know his works from Chainsaw Man to Ping Pong, Liz and the Bluebird, Devil Man, Cry Baby, uh, Space Dandy. There are a number that you'll be like, oh, he did that. Oh, that makes sense to now as to the, the type of score that I'm listening. That's not to say he's done the same thing, but there are definitely cues from those scores that you will recognize. I just felt that the score in this particular anime elevated the mood and the tone that they were going for rather than overbearing it and thrusting it and going here this is the score this is the thing that's going to carry the story rather it was another character that moved the story and the tenseness the paceness and the emotion when it needs to be in motion there is a few emotional beats within the story but it doesn't slow down the pace this was great story making so if you can get over the animation style very quickly i think you'll be in for quite a ride yet leaves you wanting more all the characters i liked or disliked on purpose and i thought the story was fun you can guess what's going to happen but i didn't mind that i think this is a solid four nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you've got one Congratulations. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down below. There are a few moments where characters did things or, or survived because of plot protection or there were slight moments or niggles, but I don't really want to dissect it. I rather want to champion the things that worked well. So there were a few moments, which is why I haven't given it a five, that I went, that's not quite right for me. But if I had to do it, I probably couldn't do it better. Thoroughly enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.